we have evidence of life shortly, a bit less than one billion years after the creation of the Earth. And that is fascinating when you think about that. So you realize that, well, maybe life is not different from the chemistry, from the atoms. It's part of the fabric of the universe. We are making a big story about that, but why? Maybe not. It's part of that. It was a possibility of this universe. So why would we make this possibility only happening here? And I think there's no reason for that. It should happen everywhere. And that's the reason why most of the people, they have this way of thinking. The universe is full of life. It's up to us to find it. It's a bit like saying the universe is full of planets. So why is it difficult to understand that? Because on Earth, we see the life as it is right now, which is extremely developed and, and complex, which is the result of a long evolution. But if you think about the timing of life, this evolution, these explosions called the Cambrian explosions only happened in the last half a billion years. For about three billion years, it was a very, very steady life and nothing very much happened. Of course, it happens gradually, but it was not these explosions of the visible life we have right now. And you think about us, it's even worse. We are very, very last. We only came in the last million years, and the solar system has four and a half billion years here. So the challenge here is we're looking at life as a fully evolution processes, but actually the story starts much early on. And the story starts with the bacteria that are our ancestors. And the bacteria were ruling the world and they will still be ruling us. But what is amazing is these bacteria, they are made the same way than us. Think about that. When you look at the trees, they are made the same way than us. They are not different, the same mechanism. We are the same chemistry, the same amino acid, the same functioning, the same DNA, it's the same system. There is a single system fully optimized that is working and making life on Earth. Maybe you will not develop completely. Maybe you will stop at some point. Maybe life was like that on Mars. We know Mars has water. The first billion years, Mars was full of water. Maybe there were life on Mars at that moment in a similar way that we had life on Earth. Maybe there were life on Venus as well at that moment if they had enough water. We know Venus has left. There's no water on Venus right now. It's gone because of these extreme I mean, greenhouse effect that get rid of the water. So you see, I'm giving you all this clue to give you a feeling that there is not something magical with life. It just happened to have the right opportunity to develop and to reach us. And we are, in a sense, a complete anomaly into the business because the brain capability are extraordinary and we could do things that nobody else is doing in life on this planet. We can see the future, we can project tools, we can create mathematics, because we have 100 billion neurons, and that makes us so exceptional, also so dangerous, so threatening. Maybe this is the reason why we may not going to survive longer, you know, in terms of species, because it's too complicated, we too powerful. But still, the idea that you have life here, I think, may not be something extraordinary. It may be just a result of many possibilities, but maybe most of the places you start life and you stop it before. How can we make progress on that? Well, we have to understand the beginning of life. That's a, that's a key.